Hey guys, welcome to day 51 of my travels in Japan. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to have a rest day today. I'm literally not doing anything. I'm just walking to the shop now to get foot cream because Pindis says I can stay in and just rest because my feet are swollen. I've got new shoes. Boom! So I need to just like chill. Like I need to let the swelling go down. There's a typhoon going to hit down south. So I want to get to Lake Biwa before it actually like... Um, hits because I don't want to be out in the open so I want to be near like at least a little bit of civilization. <laughs> um, I could wait in the Goya but where's the fun in that? Where is the fun in that? <laughs> Adventure. So I'm going to get some food and just chill out all day. Um, I'll do some uploads if I can um, but it's going to be hard because um, I really can't do anything. <laughs> Hey guys, um, I thought I'd do like a checklist of do's and don'ts in Japan, things that I've learned and people have told me along the way, right, because if any of you come you'll know, like, because I didn't plan anything and that made it more of an adventure, but there's certain laws you have to follow, okay, one of the biggest ones is no spitting, you cannot spit in the street, do not spit, because it is, they hate it, they absolutely hate it and you can get a massive fine, two, um, do not chew gum and spit it out, I never see people chewing gum anyway, but don't don't just spit it on the floor. Do not do that. Do not put even if like smoking. You can't smoke. You can't just walk the street smoking. You have to smoke in designated smoking areas, um, in the cities especially. I think in towns is fine, but cities you literally have to go to the smoking areas or down like back alleys and stuff. And like, because when I drink, I like having a fag, but like it just I don't really do it anymore because it's a pain in the ass, you know. Um, if you can. Get a rail card. If you do travel in Japan by foot, get a rail card because, um, or you rent a car, but the rail cards, um, you can only get outside the country. You can't get in the country because Japanese people can't get that rail card. They made it really hard for them to get it because it's really cheap and you can literally go across the country, you know? Um, because taxis are expensive as hell and buses can be, but buses aren't that bad. And Another thing about buses is in each city, all the buses are different. So, like, you have a middle door and a back and a front door, right? And I always, in my country, the front door is always the you enter, you pay. Don't, right? You do not do that here. You make sure you know what you're doing because I've waited at the front door for a bus to just go to the shop and they didn't let me on because I was at the wrong door. So you have to go to the middle door, depending which city you're in, because sometimes it is the front door, you get a ticket. Right, this ticket has a number on it, and then you go to the driver, you literally and make sure you have the right change, you give him the ticket, and you put the money into the machine. It's absolute crazy. It's chaos, like it's mental. Um, uh, what else? Get ready not to eat fruit. Fruit is very expensive here. I think I've told this in my, loads of my videos. It's very, very expensive. Like, I've, I've, I've seen like 15 pounds for a melon to 20 pounds for a melon. Like um, grapes, like nine, nine to ten pounds. Like strawberries are really expensive. Um, it's the cheapest thing is instant noodles, but it's it's not good. It's not really like nutritious, you know. Um, what else? Um, don't don't cross the road on a red light. Always cross on the zebra crossings and do not cross the road on red light because they hate it. They absolutely hate it. They hate it so much, and. If you ever meet anyone, do not shake their hand. Don't shake their hand. I'm telling you now, because they absolutely... It, it makes them feel so uncomfortable. But when you're a foreigner, sometimes they let it go. But And don't expect to hug off anyone. You'll never have body contact here unless you make great great friends with someone, you know? Like um, the couch surfer gave me a hug the other day and he started crying. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I haven't had a hug in ages and I'm going to hug her. Um, oh... SIM cards, right? If you want a phone here, it's hard to get minutes and texts. It's very hard. And if you can get it, it's expensive. And burner, burner SIM cards are like a pain in the ass to find, you know, because all you can get is data. But like, I, I only have data SIM cards anyway. And you can get them at any major airports. And I found it at the Telecom Square. I think that's the name. Telecom Square is actually the cheapest. And it's like 6,800 um, yens. And that's about fifty pounds, and that's like unlimited data for the entire like for the entire month, you know. And that's about the same at home. Um, and you, I get signal nearly everywhere, even in the mountains, like you know. Um, what else? I should have written a list. So yeah, if you ever do an advice list, write a list of the right <laughs> the advice list first. 
okay? <laughs> and don't be, don't, don't spend all your money in the convenience stores because they are very convenient. They are called convenience stores for a reason here because they are everywhere. I could literally walk down the street and see like four 7-Elevens on one road, cross the road, and there's Lawson's um, Mini Stop, I think it's called. Uh, oh my god in in um, Hokkaido there's Psycho Mart as well it's literally chaos there's loads and loads and loads and loads of stuff <laughs> you know um, what else uh, don't if you do come here to travel don't stay in the cities go out into nature and like see the see the wild onsens and see the lakes and stuff because they are very beautiful like Oh my god! I have to explain this. Like everyone says that um, they're not really seeing much of my videos, and that's because it's only five minutes of my day. And it is this. This was mainly a challenge. It wasn't just like a sightseeing video, you know. The sightseeing is like a, a sec as a plus to me. But like I've stumbled upon some amazing stuff. And when you're when you're traveling by bike, you can you're not like jumping on a bus or a train or a plane where everything shoots past you really fast. You're experiencing everything on that road. You're seeing nature. You're seeing everything. You're seeing people walk down the road. You're seeing everything. You know, like it's 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 unbelievable. All right. So don't don't please don't worry that I'm not seeing anything because I am seeing a lot of stuff. Um, and half the time, um, when you're going like fifty, sixty kilometers an hour down a hill. You can't really stop to take a picture of a mountain, you know. It's a pain in the ass. But like, there's loads of stuff that I've seen. Like, loads of wildlife. I, honestly, venture out into the wilds because it is so beautiful. And like, there's there's thousands of islands around Japan. So make sure you visit the little ones as well because they're amazing. And that, that's enough for today because the video is running long and I can only got ten minutes. For this. What? What's up with YouTube? Would be ten minutes. Like, I could do more, but I have to do all this like signing in crap, and I can't be asked. Peace.